This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, this is an interesting story from Ryan Leslie. Uh, I think it was on Earn Your Leisure. I think that's what the, what's right there. So he talked about how he got, you know, it's not just luck. He, he found a mentor, he said, back in 2008 or 9, and the mentor recommended he buy the Apple stock. And around then, Apple stock, I think it was like, it was under a hundred. It was like you know uh, seven dollars or something like that, or you know it was, it was low. Uh, Apple stock hadn't really taken off yet, and he said he put a hundred thousand into it as the, at, the, at the advice of his mentor. Um, and then later, the stock had gone up, and it turned into three hundred fifty thousand. And he talked to his mentor and he was like, I'm thinking about selling it and getting something nice for my mom. Thank you so much. And the guy was like, if you sell it, don't talk to me ever again. But if you hold on to it, I'll keep mentoring you. And he held on to it. And since he bought it, um, it actually split. Now, this is very lucky, (laughs) okay, that this happened. But uh, the Apple stock split uh, in 2014 seven for one so say you had a share let's just say you had a share it's like uh uh let's give an even number so it's easy say it was worth 49 dollars, right well then that one stock would now be worth you get seven shares each each share you own would turn into seven shares worth seven dollars you know because it would split into seven pieces um this is a way to you know keep the company with you know more shares out there you know uh it's they want they they want to get it sometimes people feel like they're getting a lower price but it it also drives the price up later because more people buy into it there's more stock available to buy um and we can get into that another time why stocks split why people stock splits but it's usually a positive sign so that happened for him and we'll break that stuff down another time on another channel but uh then uh when it split again in 2020 sometime i think for uh let's see it's what apple stock i think it split in 2020 was the year where it split four to one so again each share gets split into four equal share so if you have a share uh, each one's worth a hundred dollars you'll get four shares for each share each worth 25 dollars so he said now that stock is worth for him that he held on to 16 million like a little shy of 16 million dollars that's it's pretty crazy sometimes it pays to hold on to a stock you know if you believe in the stock and they're continually giving good earnings and everything uh just apple you apple stock you also want to get a stock with a dividend that pays a dividend too yeah, it pays a decent dividend. Uh, twenty-two cents, not really crazy, but uh, you get you get uh, twenty-two cents per share. Um, right now, so <laughs> you still you get some dividends each year, but uh, I don't know, man. So you know, you know, if you own like, say, you own a hundred thousand, you get like uh, what twenty-two percent of that. So yeah, I mean, yeah. That's crazy. Uh, Ryan Leslie has always been, uh, if you don't know who he is, he used to date Cassie in the beginning. He gave her her first hit and got her signed to Diddy. And Ryan Leslie used to work with Diddy. He used to be one of, uh, he used to produce under Diddy. And then Diddy eventually uh, kind of backstabbed him, took Cassie from him. And that suck but you know he's into like developing apps for artists and stuff like that he does that but he's he's a he was a big i mean he was a big independent artist for a while i think he got away from being an artist so much now he's a great producer too really talented guy he went to harvard uh and that started his music career pretty crazy but anyways i just thought that was a pretty cool success story for an investment you know um, anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button. I appreciate you guys. Peace.